All right, now that we have all our integration options turned on, our panels added, all that, let's verify that we're actually talking to them. I can give you a couple little tips through here. If we go to the little heartbeat status here and click on status, it's gonna bring up another window. First option we wanna look at is access control unit status. I'm gonna double click on it, brings it up. Now we see my demo eight door panel is showing inactive. It's because I don't actually have an eight door panel on here. That's okay, it's nice because you can see what happens when something's not communicating. It's got a communication error over here of 20. It's just basically telling me, I can't find that panel, <laughs> and really it doesn't exist. But my main entry door here is the panel I actually do have here right beside me. I can see the green light on it. Status is showing active, no pending packages. Everything looks good, so if I right click on it and choose upload, full upload, it's gonna say, are you sure? I'm gonna hit yes. There's 43 packets here. Now it's gonna start counting down because it's talking to the panel. We should see those start going away fairly quickly. Yeah, we see it just went from 43 to eight pretty quick. One of the other neat things it did there was it reached out to the panel and said, hey, I'm here, here's all my data, give me your data. So it got the firmware version of the panel. That's one of the big things. I can see this as firmware 1.75. If I look at this and I see it's version 9.46 or 9.47, I know that the firmware chips either have not been changed out in the panel or the dip switches were not set for integration mode on the panel. That's one of the things I look for when people say, hey, I'm not communicating. I ask them what firmware version it shows. If it's 9.4 something, they haven't changed the chips or hadn't flipped a switch one or the other or they don't have integration mode turned on in the software. A lot of little things we can look at, but that's a big thing. We wanna see 1.74 or 1.75. I have 1.75 because this is actually is one of the newest versions of the panel that supports the visitor management. Most years out there are gonna say 1.74. The other things I can look at here is door status. I'm gonna look at my main entry door. And I can see the status of the door. It's got a question mark here because it's not seeing my door contact. That's fine just because I don't have one on it right now. But I can see the door is locked. I can double click on that and it actually unlocked and I saw the panel unlock. I saw the reader, go, reader light go green. So I know it's unlocked. I'm gonna double click again and it's locked back. I can actually pull up the online transactions here and I see a list of that. If I clear this list and I double click on the panel, I see on the list here, live transactions, doors unlocked manual. Double click again, doors locked manual. So I know I'm talking to the panel and I know it's talking back to me. Those are some of the things we wanna look at to verify. Again, up here at the top, what's our status of our panel? Is it active, inactive, disabled? You know, what is its status? Because we've got different options. Active, inactive, disabled, or disaster recovery. Hopefully you're never dealing with that. But these are our options. Again, verify your firmware versions, 1.7 something, and that you don't have any communication errors over here. And it also shows your last poll time, so I know I'm live talking to the panel. So everything looks good here. We can move on to community. Thank you.